How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're in a battle versus Bradger from the Discord server in the OU tier. Go ahead and join the Discord server. It's the best place to go for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battles right now. There is a link in the description down below. And friendly reminders, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already. We're on our way to 20k by the end of the year and I'd love for you to be a part of that journey. Looking at the team, it's, it's the Meganium team that... Uh, I can't remember much about it to be honest with you. I used it once. Um, and I didn't really like it because it's got Goldengo on it. Great, Goldengo. We've got to face the Goldengo again. So I'm looking at Embor, and Embor does pretty well here. Um, it's Choice Banded, so if we get a free switch in on something, we can definitely do some damage. We can definitely take Shadow Ball from the um, Goldengo, that's for sure, and Meganium shouldn't be a problem either. It does have Earthquake, I believe, um, if I remember rightly. So I think I might lead up... They're probably going to leave with Ribombe, right? So I might lead off with Embor or Gengar and, like, just Sludge Bomb. But they could stun Sporos, so I've got to be very careful of that. So I actually might leave with Excadrill and just Iron Head the Ribombe. I think that's probably the best way to go. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Bradger. So they're going to lead off with Eclipse, the Roaring Moon, as we obviously led off with the Excadrill. So this is not a good matchup. They could go for a knockoff, which will definitely hurt us quite a bit. We could go for for an Earthquake just to get some damage off on it. But they do have that booster energy, which makes it um, a bit more trickier as they get the attack boost from the booster energy. So what do we do here? I think the best thing for us to do is probably just to go straight into Clefable. But Clefable is specially defensive. Or is it physically defensive? I can never remember. I can't even remember my own sets. So I'm wondering what to do here. I am leaning towards just attacking. That could be good. But I, like I said, I think we get to KO by knockoff here. I, I think I'll go into Clefable because I'm pretty sure they don't really have much to hit Clefable. Other than knockoff, which is resisted, obviously. So we're going to Galactica the Clefable like so. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. And um, they go for a knockoff as expected. It's not going to do too much damage. And unfortunately, Unaware doesn't actually protect you from Protosynthesis boosts, which is interesting to note. Um, so anyway, looking at the matchup right now, they can probably just go for a Terra Flying Acrobatics if they really wanted to. So, I think I'll just go for a... Did they go for Terra Flying? Would they waste a Terra Flying this early? They might do. Ice Beam doesn't KO anyway, so getting damage off is important. So I may as well go for the Moonblast just in case they don't Terra. They don't Terra, and we can't take an Acrobatics anyway, unfortunately. It's Clefable does go down, so... Knowing this thing, thing doesn't have a speed boost from a Dragon Dance, that's good to know. As we can now go into our Gengar. And uh, Gengar can just go for a Dazzling Gleam. We are Choice Scarf, so we should outspeed. Nice and shiny as well, gotta love it. So I go for a Dazzling Gleam. They stay in to take it, and they just don't take it because it's four times super effective from a Gengar. So that's pretty awesome. We got the Roaring Moon out of the way. We did sacrifice Clefable, but Clefable, to be fair, looking at the team, they got Gold Dengo, the Iron Moth. Wasn't really doing much for us. So Pom Pom's gonna come in, the Ribombe. And um, we can, well, we can't just stay in and go for a Dazzling Gleam. We're going to get Stun Spot if we do that. I think the best thing to do is to go into Excadrill once again because they more than likely go for the, um, the Rapid Spin here. So let's go into Rollin real quick. Like so. Nice and shiny as well. Got to love it. Someone told me that I say that too much. <laughs> I can't help it. It's just, it's just what I say, all right? Leave me alone. So they go for a Stun Spot, but they do miss. Um, which is great for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight for the KO and I'm going to go for an Iron Head. They probably get the Sticky Webs up, but I doubt it at the same time. Yeah, they don't. So I think they're going to go into Goldengo here with the Air Balloon. Tuscany. That's the great Tusk. Oh, that's my nickname. Oh, they're using my rental code. That's why. Interesting. So it's a good job I can't remember much about this team. <laughs> I literally used this team once and I was like, nah, I can't be done. can't be doing with that one anymore. So what's our switch in here? Probably going to be Salamence, right? But... Salamence is an interesting set with Blunder Policy because I have Hurricane and Drake Meteor and Fire Blast. So if we get the speed boost, it's going to be pretty cool. But we're not in the good best position to go for that yet. So I don't want to go for that yet. Um, instead, what I might do is, based on the Iron Head damage, we, we definitely outspeed, I think. It's just I'm just deciding what they're going to do because they could go for a Headlong Rush or they could go for a Close Combat. Um, in which case, I think Salamence is the best one because we get the Intimidate as well. So I will bring Salamence in, and hopefully they don't predict this switch and go for an Ice Spinner. That'd be nice. So we'll bring in Tropicana. The Salamence, nice and shiny, gotta love it. Go for that Intimidate real quick. And then they go for an Ice Spinner predicting the Salamence. We should live because we have got the Intimidate off. No, we don't, never mind. I am underestimating Great Tusk. 
I underestimated Great Tusk and look what happened. That was a really good play by my, my, my opponent. They, they made the good read there, um, which is really cool. Uh, so, Gengar it is, I guess. So let's go Gengar. We can go into Gengar, and the thing is, I if I remember rightly, this thing's Rocky Helmet or something. Pretty confident that Dazzling Gleam will take it out, so I'm going to go for it straight away. They do withdraw the Tuscany, that's fair enough. What are they going to go into, though? Goldengo? Pom Pom. Pom Pom the Ribombe. Can you take two Dazzling Gleams? We may have to tear a fairy here. Let's go for a Dazzling Gleam real quick. Ooh, it'll KO if we get the Terra Fairy. It'll KO if we get the Terra Fairy, but we don't need to, do we? We could just go into Excadrill. Excadrill works out just fine. Yeah, I'm going to Excadrill. I'll go Excadrill. Just because um, I don't want to get my... Uh, I don't, I don't want to waste my Terra just yet. You know, I can still use it later on for stuff. So we'll go into uh, our Excadrill real quick. Mold Breaker breaks the mold, not that it matters. And they go for an... Um, what do they go for? Sticky Web. Stun Spore again. So, they really wanted to paralyze something. So, they paralyzed my Excadrill, which is just fine. Excadrill isn't really um, meant for its speed on this team. It's meant for the hazard clearing and hitting hard. So, let's go for an Iron Head again. Just because there's no reason not to. It's doing a lot of damage to the Great Tusk. They withdraw Pom Pom. What are they going to go into, though? Are they going to go into the Great Tusk? I'd say so. Yeah, Great Tusk comes in. Tuscany. So, we go for an Iron Head. And it is a free at KO, which is good, but they have got the Rocky Helmet. So I'm leaning towards leaning towards going for an Earthquake because it'll do more damage. I'm banking on them not having close combat. I feel like they have a um, Headlong Rush at least. I don't really have a good switch in either. I need, to, I need to bank on it. I need to bank on it. So they go for an Ice Spinner, so they must not have close combat. Or they're predicting something else to come in. Either way, we can take that like a champ. I just hope we don't get fully paralyzed. We don't. We go for an Earthquake. That should take out the... Yep, the Great Tusk goes down. So, that's one more Pokemon out of the way, which is great. I'm trying to remember about this team, because I know the, I know the Meganium is physical. That's what I know. But anyway, in comes Betsy. That's the Meganium. I remember that. The, the, <laughs> the Meganium comes in. So, um, now I'm leaning towards... They probably go for a Swords Dance, right? So, I should go into Gengar and Sludge Wave, but they, they haven't Terrid yet. So maybe I shouldn't, and I guess I should go for an Iron Head. I think that's the right way. They go for an EQ. So it's a good running into Gengar then, or Empoleon, or Embor. Any of them, really. Good running into going to any of them. Because they would have all taken some super effective damage and potentially got KO'd. So I want to go into Gengar, but I feel like they're just going to Terror, and I can't remember what the Terror is on this thing. Gengar could be so useful for us later. The Rebombe is weakened, the Goldengo is weak to it. Iron Moth gets that speed boost. I think maybe our best bet is probably going to be the Embor, so I'm going to go into it. I think Embor is the best bet because it hits everything on their team really hard. And this is Calamity Ganon. So some people might think it's over the top, but just got, just just hear me out. It's, it's based on Calamity Gan Ganon from Breath of the Wild. That's what it's based on. So now knowing that, it looks a bit better, right? Because <laughs> at first I was like, oh, I don't know about that. But now I'm like, actually, yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's go for a Flare Blitz. There's no real switch into that. As they go for an EQ, that's going to do a lot of damage to us. But it won't take us out. Because it's a Meganium at the end of the day. We go for a Flare Blitz. And that should take out the Meganium. It does. Great. So, Meganium going down is amazing. Absolutely fantastic. I think even if they Terra Grounded or something, it would have still KO'd. It's a Reckless Boosted. Choice Band Boosted. In comes Pom Pom once again. The uh, Ribombe. So, Ribombe is here. Let's see what we can do against this thing. I'm leaning towards uh, Empoleon. I still think we can use um, Suck Punch for something against the Goldengo, for example. So I am going to keep Embor around. Uh, and I think Empoleon can take any hit this thing wants to throw at it and doesn't care too much about the paralysis. So let's just do that, like so. Admiral comes in. Looking amazing. Empoleon looks amazing in this game. They go for a Moonblast. It's going to bounce right off us, but it might give us a competitive boost. It doesn't this time. Because basically, Moonblast can lower your special attack as a chance to. So if they did, it boosts my special attacking from competitive and then make it a bit higher. So, you know. Anyway, let's go for a Surf. <laughs> no reason not to. They go for the Sticky Webs. That's fine. Absolutely fine by me. We've lost our Hazard Calera, but it's absolutely fine. We go for a Surf. Take out the Ribombe. So, looking at the rest of their team, Empoleon kind of does really well here. So I think I will just let Empoleon do its thing here. In comes Gold Rush the Goldengo. Now, this thing can have Thunderbolts. 
Whether it does or not, I don't know. But either way, I'm going to flip turn into Embor. I am going to flip turn into Embor as they go for a nasty plot. So that is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. But we're going to get some flip, flip turn damage off. Which is always nice. We are Assault Bear, so I'm not worried about the nasty plot too much. And I'm going to go back into Embor real quick. So they're probably thinking... I'm hoping they think that Embor is a sack play. I'm hoping that's what they think. I mean, Gengar outspeeds here, but I don't want to risk it. I want to go into Embor. Embor gets caught in the sticky webs, which is unfortunate. But we do have one little surprise trick up our sleeve. And that is Sucker Punch. I could tear a steel. No, I'm not going to do that. That is Sucker Punch. So I'm going to go for a Sucker Punch. There we go. Nicely done. As it's going to take out the Goldengo, which is great. So Embor came through. Took out the Meganium. Took out the Goldengo. And who said Embor was unviable in OU, eh? Not that Meganium's OU. But in comes Mothra. Dot bots the Iron Moth. Looking good. And if I'm right in thinking, this thing has all offensive moves. So we can afford to go for a Sucker Punch here. Which is what I'm going to do. Sucker Punch comes through. Still does a lot of damage. A lot of damage. As they go for a Fiery Dance. And that's obviously going to take us out from there. And they probably get a special attack boost, right? Yeah, of course they do. Of course they do. But not all is lost. Just because an Iron Moth's on the field. And then we, we get outsped by it. Doesn't mean anything. Because now we get to bring Empodeon in. And the great thing about Empodeon is. It's going to get a competitive boost from the Sticky Webs. So there's the Sticky Webs. Like so. And there's the competitive boost as well. Special attack grows sharply. We are in a good position right now. With Terra. No, I don't need to Terra flying. Let's go for a Surf. We can take any hit this thing wants to throw at us. Even if they Terra. It's fine. What Terra are they going to be? Are they going to be Terra Ground? I can't remember what Terra was on this team. It is Terra Ground. Okay, I was right. So, that's kind of threw me off a bit. Because I, I, I KO with Surf. But I don't know whether Terra Blast KOs us. I think Empoleon can live. It's plus one. It's Stab. But we have got the Assault Vest, so we should be able to live one. <gasps> we don't. So Assault Vest Empoleon does not win here. Interesting. So now it comes down to Gengar. So Gengar is in an interesting position. So I think... I can't remember what boost they got from the Protosynthesis. I think they got Special Attack, right? Which means because we're Choice Scarfed, I think we're at a speed tie with this thing. I think. So let's go for a Shadow Ball and find out. They go for a Terra Blast, they outspeed us. That is going to be the game. So GG Bracket, that was a pretty fun one. I enjoyed that. It was nice to see the it was nice to see the Meganium team putting in work. You can get the Meganium team on Pokemon's random website, by the way. Um, so if you want to try that, I'll go to Pokemon's website. Honestly, best place to go for sample teams. Perfectly good. And the second battle is here. We've got Falcon from the Discord server in the OU tier. Looking at the team, they've got a Jolteon, Scizor, Dragonite, Breloom, Azumarill, and a Pelipper. Pretty interesting team, I would say so. So, looking at this matchup, I'd say they probably leave with Pelipper. In which case, I should probably leave with something to counteract that. Maybe Salamence or something. Um, Salamence gets to hit Hurricanes 100% accuracy in this, game, in this game. So, they may also lead with the Jolteon. If they do leave with the Jolteon, we'll just, we'll just switch straight into Excadrill. So, I'm going to lead off with Salamence, expecting the Pelipper switch. Um, and then we just kind of go from there. And the battle begins. Good luck. Have fun. Captain Falcon. So they lead off with the Breloom. As we lead off with our Salamence. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. So we get the Intimidate off, which is always nice. I really hope my opponent's not going to go for a Spore here. Because that would be annoying. Um, do we have a switch in Spore? We don't. It's not really something you prep for when you're playing Smogon. Um, that's fine, though. If they do have Spore, they do have Spore. Let's go for a Hurricane and see if we can connect. That'd be nice. They do withdraw the Breloom, which is great. So what are they going to go into, though? Are they going to go Pelipper? Scizor. So Scizor comes in. Nice and not shiny. We go for a Hurricane. So that's good. We haven't wasted our Blunder policy just yet. So we get some solid damage off on the Scizor. Now we go for a Fire Blast. There's no real reason not to. They can't really do much to us other than Bullet Punch. They go for the Bullet Punch. That's fine. They're going to do a lot of damage, but not too much. As we go for a Fire Blast, we connect. Salamence putting in the work right now. Scizor does go down. So that's great. Salamence putting in the work. Scizor down and out already is great for us. Because now they haven't got Hazard Clear. I'm guessing that thing had Defog, right? But in comes Breloom. So Breloom is going to come in. An interesting choice, considering. We just demonstrated our power with the Hurricane. Which one's more accurate? Fire Blast or Hurricane? Yeah, but Fire Blast might not KO. 
So I'll go for a hurricane. Screw it. Let's just go for it. We, uh, oh, we hit the hurricane. Yes, bro. Loom is going to go down and it's got a focus dash, which is really annoying. But here, let's see what they do. Hopefully, they don't spar. If they spar, it's going to be unfortunate. Rock Tomb. Okay, so they are following the claws. That's fine. Salamence did really good there, though. It's took the Breloom down to the Sash. It got rid of the Scizor. Their, you know, their Hazard Clearer is gone. So we're in a very good position right now. I am leaning toward Gengar, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Gengar can, does really well against their team. He can just spam Sludge Waves now. Now that the, um, the Sizzle's gone, we can just spam Sludge Waves. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to spam a Sludge Wave real quick. They withdraw the Breloom. What are they going to go into to take a Sludge Wave, though? Pelipper. Get that rain up. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. So the Drizzle is going to come through. Which would be great for my Salamence with its Hurricane. But let's see how much this Sludge Wave does first. There we go. That's way over half. Let's go for another one. I can afford to go for another one. Gengar puts in the absolute work this game. That's for sure. Sludge Wave comes through. Down goes the Pelipper, which is amazing. So Gengar putting in the work right now. What have they got to deal with this Gengar? That's the real question. Gengar's putting on a lot of pressure at the moment. In comes the Azumarill. So we can probably expect to Terra here. But in the rain, Aquajet may actually KO us with a choice band. So I think I'm, my best play is to switch out. So I'm going to go into Empoleon. Empoleon can definitely take an Aquajet from this thing. If they predict the Empoleon and go for a superpower here, then that's going to be amazing. I feel like they have a Terra Steel or they go for an Aquajet though. Um, as they do Terra. So let's see what they Terra into. Because we need to keep Gengar around, that's for sure. So they're going to Terrestrialize into a Poison type. Interesting. So that would have still resisted the Sludge Wave. Very interesting choice. Great for us, though. As they go for a liquidation, it's going to sting. But not too much. Which is great. So now, I get to go for a surf in the rain. That's that's the thing. I get to go for a surf in the rain right now. And that should do a lot of damage. It does over half. They go for a superpower, though. That's going to cleanly take out my Empoleon. So, I didn't really need Empoleon for much else this game. Because they have a Jolteon. They've got an Earthquake on Dragonite, probably. They've got the Breloom with a Mock Punch, Drain Punch combination. And they've got this thing. So, Empoleon wasn't doing too much this game. So, what we could do is we could go Embor and Sucker Punch. Or, they've got Liquidation and Super Power. They probably have Play Rough, right? So, maybe they don't have Aqua Jet. Maybe they don't have Aqua Jets. So, we could go into Excadrill and Iron Head if we want to play that route. I think the best bet we've got is going to be the Excadrill. Because if they have Aqua Jet and the Aqua Jet might Embor, they'll out-prioritize it. So, Sucker Punch will fail. So, we can't risk that. Excadrill naturally outspeeds um, Azumarill, so we can prop we're just going to have to risk, you know, living the Aquaja in the rain, which I think we might do. Let's go for an EQ and find out what they're going to do. They withdraw the Azumarill. Are they going to go into the Breloom to Sack, or are they going to go Dragonite? Dragonite the Tower Master comes on in, so let's see if it's shiny. No, okay, that's unfortunate. I really like the shiny Dragonite that I've made. Looks so cool. Right, this thing is going to Dragonance on us, no doubt. So let's go into our Clefable, because we have one aware. Then we're not too bothered about the Dragon Dancers. They can Dragon Dance all they want on the Clefable. Galactica comes in. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. And there they go for a Dragon Claw. Expecting something else, I'm guessing. Which is interesting. So, oh wait, no, we have Air Balloon. So they had to go for a Dragon Claw to break the Air Balloon. That makes sense. We keep the Air, uh, air Balloon intact there, which is great. So let's go for an Ice Beam real quick. I don't see any reason not to. They withdraw the Dragonites. What are they going to go into? Azumarill? Azumarill comes in. That makes sense to take a Moonblast. But unfortunately, we also have Ice Beam on off of thing for coverage against Gliscor and Landorus. Still does no damage. That actually tells me they are Assault Vest. And I don't have a switch in. I do not have a switch in here. Huh. What do I do? They probably go for a Liquidation because it's in the rain. I have no switch ins. I feel like Gengar is going to be important. Embor's Sucker Punch is going to come in clutch. So I guess we just go for an Ice Beam again and hope for the best. So we go for an Ice Beam. We do outspeed, which is great. Does some damage. They go for a Liquidation. It's going to do a lot of damage, that's for sure. Doesn't quite get the KO. And, they, and this is the... Oh, the Rain stopped. Great. This is the point where we're going to find out if they've got Aqua Jet because we outspeed. So they definitely go for an Aqua Jet if they have it to finish us off. And if they don't have it, then we can just go back into Geng uh, Gengar and start spamming Sludge Waves. So let's go for the Ice Beam real quick. They go for the Aqua Jet. Uh, the Aqua Jet is here. It's going to take us out. So they've got Aqua Jet, uh, Liquidation, Superpower, and they've got Wells, if they're Assault Vest. Play Rough, probably Play Rough. So, now we just go into Gengar, or we can go into anything really. I think we're going to go into Gengar. 
Gengar's a fine choice, but if you do say so myself. Because we can outspeed this thing, we can go for a Shadow Ball and just take it out. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Go for a Shadow Ball. They go for an Aqua Jet to get some last ditch damage off. It does about half. We go for a Shadow Ball, and that should take out the Azumarill, right? Even if they're Assault Vest, they should there. It definitely goes down. So down goes the Azumarill. And now we've got Breloom, Dragonite, and we've got a nice and powerful Jolteon to deal with. Which is unfortunate, really. In comes Jolteon. Jolteon may be choice scarfed here. It's nice and shiny as well. We don't want to stay in, that's for sure. I think I'll just go into Excadrill because we can take the electric moves and we can also take a Shadow Ball pretty well. If it's choice specs, we might not be able to take Shadow Ball too well. But, you know, we, we could do. <laughs> Let's see how this plays out. So Excadrill comes in, breaking the mold. Nothing matters. As uh, they uh, go for, what are they going to go for? A Shadow Ball? They withdraw, so they make the double switch. Interesting. So Dragonite comes on in. The Dragonite is here. Let us go for a... They're going to go for a Dragon Claw to break our Air Balloon first. So let's go for a Swords Dance first. There we go, because I know we outspeed Dragonite. So we may as well just try and get as much damage off as possible on this thing, as they go for the Dragon Claw to break our Air Balloon. Fair enough. Dragon... Dragon... Uh, whatever. We could Terra Ghost here. That's what I'm trying to say. We could Terra Ghost here. Um, and kind of go from there. But it does make us susceptible to the Jolteon's um, Shadow Balls. So I'm leaning more towards going for a Iron Head. Because I'm I'm pretty confident that an Earthquake will probably take us out. Even if the Terra goes. So I go for an Iron Head. Why not? We might even flinch them. You never know. Oh, Mold Breaker breaks through Multiscale. I forgot about that. Excadrill coming through. What a legend. All right, in comes Breloom. So this is where we're going to Terra. Because they're definitely going to go for a Mock Punch here, right? Do I need Terra for anything else? I don't think I do. So let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's go for that Terra Ghost Iron Head because they're going to go for a Mock Punch here. They're definitely going to go for a Mock Punch to take us out. And if we just randomly pull out the Terra Ghost, like, hey, by the way, Terra Ghost, and we can get another KO of Excadrill, which would be amazing. So Excadrill's put in the finest of work this game. Really has. So they go. They don't even go for a. He oh, nice. There's no Mock Punch. They might have expected the Terra. They might have expected Breloom to outspeed as well. Which unfortunately it doesn't because uh, Excadrill is kind of not fast, but it's got, you know, a decent speed tier. Um, Jolteon comes in though. This thing can Shadow Ball, that's for sure. And I'm not confident in our ability to take out in one shot with Gengar. So I'm going to go for an EQ. So they go for a Thunderbolt. That's going to take us out, no doubt. Yep, Thunderbolt takes us down. That must be Specs. It's got to be Specs. Which means if Gengar can pull this off, then we're actually all right. So let's see how Gengar does this. So... Gengar isn't going to be able to KO this thing with a Sludge Wave, that's for sure. But. There is a big but. We could Curse Body them. So let's go for a Sludge Wave real quick. There we go. We are Choice Scarf, so we outspeed. It's not going to KO. But they go for a Thunderbolt, and we could Curse Body their Thunderbolt. And if we do, which we haven't, unfortunately, Embar could have come in and gone for a Flare Blitz or something like that and got, got a flashy finish. But no, Embar can come in now, and we have got the Sucker Punch. So we'll bring Ganon in once again. Calamity Ganon. Looking amazing. And then we go for a Sucker Punch. And that should end the game right there. There we go. Jolteon goes down. And that's the win of the game. So GG Captain Falcon. That was a fun one. That came right down to the wire. I really enjoyed that one. Thanks for the battle, Captain Falcon. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to. Use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.